What's up guys, welcome to game one of the GOT or the Goodbye Oris tournament. You guys may have forgotten about this series because I haven't uploaded for it in a while unless you're actually playing in it, but that's what this is. And this first game is against David and the Brooklyn Bennets. These are his six members. He also has a Steelix in the back that he did not bring. Of course, this is a seven mon draft. These are the six that we brought. Roserade, Megalodios, Zoroark, Heatran, uh, Feraligator, and Golurk. So... Um, just to let you guys know, I had all three of my matches for the group stage within, uh, I think it was about like three or three and a half hours. My first two games I was already prepped for, and then my last one I prepped for on the fly. So, um, if you're excited to see how well we did in the group stage, make sure to leave a like down below, subscribe if you haven't already. But this is his team, as you can see he has a Cloyster, a Galvantula, a Darmanitan, Mega Blastoise, Celebi, and Gliscor. So a very, very good team. Uh, he's got a lot of uh, UU Pokemon, actually. It's pretty much a full UU team except for Gliscor. Uh, everything else is tiered UU or below. Uh, kind of the same with um, my team except Mega Latios and uh, Heatran. Everything else is UU or below, so... Uh, I think I still think we got a pretty solid team. Now, looking at my matchup, I knew that if my opponent got up webs, uh, I was in a very bad situation uh, because everything outsped everything that I had because my team is not super, super fast. So I needed a countermeasure for webs. So I decided I'm going to bring both Defog Megalodios and Magic Coat Golurk. So if he decided to lead off with Galvantula, first of all, Galvantula doesn't have a great matchup against Golurk. Uh, and secondly, I can magic bounce back his webs to put us on an even playing field. Uh, the only Pokemon that he had that was not affected by webs is Gliscor, uh, and my, I also have Latios that's not affected by webs, and my Mega Latios has Ice Beam, so it has an advantage over the Gliscor automatically. So, this is the team. Uh, I'll go over the sets as we play through the battle, so I'll start it up for you guys here. We lead off with Golurk, like I said, uh, trying to catch the Galvantula. He leads off with Gliscor. Now, I have Ice Punch on this thing. Uh, I didn't expect to knock him out in one hit, um, because I, I figured he, that he would be defensive. But I just went for it anyway. He went for knockoff, got rid of my Life Orb, which would have helped for the damage on this Gliscor. But he actually reveals to be Yachi Berry, he, so he takes that pretty well. He doesn't want to risk the roll, though. He just goes for EQ, and we lose our Golurk turn two. But it's okay. As long as his webs are not set up right away, we're fine. Now, we go into... For alligator, but for alligator is not for alligator. Halibel over here is actually Stark, who's in the back, as you can see over here, Zoroark, and we are going to click Dark Pulse. Now I know that he's not going to risk me setting up uh, with a potential for alligator in quotations, so I know he's just going to stay in and attack. And I want to get rid of this Gliscor as early as possible uh, because it deals with uh, my Heat Rent very, very well. So. As long as it's speedy and it can outspeed heat ran very easily it can run 279 speed so i'm just going to go for the dark pulse here and i'm going to knock out the gliscor get rid of it it's dealt with there we go and uh, now he's going to go out into darmanitan i'm not going to stay in here i'm actually going to predict the u-turn and not the flare blitz or the superpower and go out into, into heatran he goes for the u-turn we take absolutely nothing from that he's just going to go out into his mega blastoise and i'm going to go into my check per se to this uh, and go into Roserade, we are Assault Vested. Actually, I think we might not be. I think we might be just very especially Defense Invested. Uh, no, we are Assault Vested. And I'm going to go for a Sludge Bomb here, predicting his Celebi to come in. And we actually get a crit, which is really unfortunate, because I have a feeling that this Celebi had enough speed to outspeed. Well, actually, we EV'd Roserade in a way. I had 282 speed, because I figured that he'd want to EV Celebi to outspeed max speed... Um, max speed for alligator and not not so much roserade uh because he would lose a lot of bulk investment if he did that so i ran 282 so maybe it didn't matter i don't know i didn't ask him uh but i got the crit so celebi is dealt with immediately i had a lot of things for celebi i had the heat ran i had uh i believe ice punch or crunch crunch on uh, for alligator i had uh the dark pulse from zorak and i had the ice beam from latios so it wasn't a huge deal but it uh obviously sucks for David to lose him on just like that. Now he's going to go out into Cloister, and I'm thinking, okay, um, he knows that I'm AV because of the uh, Skull damage from Blastoise onto Roserade. So I figure he's probably Scarfed, and if he's Scarfed, I'm going to switch on into Heatran because I can take any hit. I have a Pasho Berry for Hydro Pump if he decides to click that. He just goes for Icicle Spear, which is fine. 
uh, and we are going to take absolutely nothing from that. I didn't calc the damage immediately because it was kind of difficult with rolls like this. Uh, and I'm actually just going to go for a Magma Storm. And we're going to miss the Blastoise, unfortunately. But now, like I said, I have the Pasho Berry. And I know that he's going to click a Water Move, right? Wrong. <laughs> I'm going to go for Toxic. And he's actually going to go for the Zen Headbutt. So I'm really glad that he switched out earlier on my Roserade. Uh, because had he gone for Zen Headbutt as I went for Sludge Bomb, I would have probably lost my Rosary because I didn't even think about uh, Blastoise running Zen Headbutt, to be perfectly honest. So now I'm just going to set up rocks because, as you can see, his three mem members in the back right here, Cloyster, Galvantula, and Darmanitan are all weak to rocks. I break a potential Sash on both Cloyster and Galvantula, even though I think Cloyster's scarfed at the moment. Uh, and Darmanitan gets weakened really, really fast. If it starts Flare Blitzing, it's going to end up killing itself to recoil. So, I need to get up these rocks. And I'm faster than his Blastoise. Uh, I'm EV'd with only 222 speed, but obviously this Blastoise has a lot of, uh, of bulk investment because it wasn't able to outspeed me. So I'm just going to go for Stealth Rocks. He's going to go for a, a Scald. We're going to live thanks to the Pasho Barrier. And now I'm just going to go for an Earth Power to weaken this thing even further. Uh, get it into range where anything can kill it basically after the uh, toxic damage he's gonna go for a rapid spin that's not gonna matter because i'm gonna be able to get my rocks back up and if he switches out his blastoise i'm fine with that because i get to keep my heat ran but he actually decides to stay in and just go for scald good play as we are able to uh lower this blastoise down to 18 percent and now it's very elementary i just go into roserade and i go for the giga drain now he's gonna bring back in his blastoise right here uh not his blastoise excuse me his cloister i'm still thinking this thing is scarfed but at the same time, if he locks himself into an ice move, he risks me setting up with Feraligator and winning the game. Because I do have Aqua Jet uh, for the Galvantula and the Darmanitan. After rocks, at plus one, uh, Aqua Jet will kill uh, the Galvantula and it also will kill the Darmanitan. And then he has to come back in with Cloyster. He has to attack me with Rock Blast, which isn't doing too much unless he has HP Electric or HP Grass. Uh, and then I'm going for Crunch, and I'm basically 2 at KOing this thing uh, with the combination of two Crunches and an Aqua Jet. So, uh, knowing that, knowing that he has to lock himself into uh, Icicle, uh, Icicle Spear, um, I'm just going to stay in, and I'm going to sack off my Roserade, essentially. But, he's not Scarfed. <laughs> and I go for Giga Drain, and we're able to knock out the uh, Cloyster right there. Now he's going to make an interesting play. He's going to go into Galvantula, and I'm Assault Vest, so I can take any hit this thing goes for. He goes for Bug Buzz. It does a lot, and I'm actually thinking that's Specs. I go for Sludge Bomb, and it's actually able to knock out the Galvantula, because we do also have a lot of Spatak investment. At this point, Roserade's put in enough work. I'm going to let it go down to the Flare Blitz, and now I can just go into the real Feraligator, uh, and just go for an Aqua Jet and knock this thing out. So that's going to be a 3-0 victory for the Montreal Habsols. We were able to take that one quite nicely. Uh, and Latios didn't even get to switch in this game, so that's kind of cool. Uh, get to save it in the back. Didn't have to reveal a potential set. Uh, we were Thunderbolt uh, for the Blastoise and Ice Beam, like I had said before. We were Bolt Beam, and I think we were also um, Call Mind, if I'm not mistaken, plus Defog. Uh, but my, my EVs, I can't remember them off the top of my head. But we do take that one. That is a first win for us. Uh, I'm going to be releasing these really quickly. They're probably going to be coming out one a day. So the next one's going to be going up tomorrow. Uh, and uh, I already know the result of all of my matches. Of course, I'm just going to go into the replay. And you guys are going to see what happened in the next matches. The, ne the next one's... Whew, I don't even want to record it. Uh, it's... <laughs> It's pretty crazy, um, but yeah, you're going to have to wait until tomorrow to see that one, guys. Again, if you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like down below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye.